going to install Cairo Dock onto Linux Mint 20 here in the Matei desktop. Uh, I'm going to use Matei because that's what I use and also it's got a couple of uh, issues that XFCE and Cinnamon don't have. Uh, I'll get to those later in the video but we'll go through this. We'll begin installing Cairo Dock and I'll explain a little bit more as we go along. Now, if we type Cairo, and there it is there, meta package for Cairo Dock. So we'll install that. In the past, this has pretty much worked, just installing the, the main package, shall we say but there's a little bit more that you may need depending on how much of Cairo Dock you're trying to access, how many features and that sort of thing. So I'll show you this as we move forward. We'll move the panel up to the top. So there's space at the bottom for the dock, which is now installed. Uh, we'll just, um, we'll go back one screen there. We'll just get rid of that for the moment. So we'll start Cairo Dock. We get asked this question, and we'll come to this in a moment. There is a dash O or a dash C flag that we can use. I'm going to recommend saying yes, uh, but not to uh, remember this choice. Don't tick that. And yes is essentially dash O, and no is basically dash C. So dash O is for OpenGL, which puts the workload onto the GPU, and dash C puts the workload back onto the CPU. So we'll say yes. And if one doesn't work, I recommend closing the dock and restarting it, and take the other option, and just play with that for a few days or a week or whatever until you're comfortable with it. Uh, but if it's going to cause problems, it'll probably happen fairly quickly. So we've got a basic dock. If we hover over shortcuts, we can see the shortcuts aren't there. Even clicking on it. Now I'm just going to add a couple of items to the dock. And sometimes these menus shake about a little bit. And I've usually found if you, there, there you go, if you sort of move your mouse around a little bit, they usually settle down. We'll go to configure and add-ons. I'm going to add the stack and we'll go to the menu. I'm going to add a shortcut for the file manager, which here in the Matei desktop is called Kaja. And there we go. I've got a document in here. We're going to just drag that into the stack. So we just drag and drop. And now if we hover over the stack, there it is, you can see the icon doesn't look right and that should launch the document by clicking on it and it's not working. If we come to the shortcuts, you can see there's no shortcuts working in there. And if I click on the file browser, it's currently working and we'll come back to that a little bit later on. So as you can see, the docs more or less functioning. Uh, if you don't use these shortcuts, it's not gonna matter and the file browser is basically working but the stack isn't so we'll quit out of the dock for the moment quit we'll go up and we'll address these flags so we'll right click Cairo dock and I'm going to go edit properties and in here where it says command we're going to add space dash O, and as I mentioned before, that's essentially saying yes. If you have problems with that pop-up question saying yes, if you have problems with the dock, and you don't have any problems when you say no, then you would want to put the C, lowercase c, in there if no works for you. But if yes is working, go with the O. So we'll close that, and we'll restart the dock. Okay, that's, um, I'm going to have to log out because that has obviously not, not worked. So we'll just log out and log back in. It 
Sometimes that takes effect straight away and sometimes it doesn't for some reason. We'll just have another look here. Edit properties. So it's still there. We'll close out of there. We'll start the dock. And there we go. It started. We didn't get asked a question. Our shortcuts still aren't working. The stack's still not um, displaying the document or, or working properly. The file browser is working. Again, we'll come back to that later on. So I'm going to quit the dock. And we'll go back into the software manager. We'll type Cairo. And you can see once we installed that meta package before, we've got all these extra plugins here. But if we scroll down a little bit, this one here, Cairo Doc GNOME integration plugin, we need that one. So we'll install that. Okay, that's in. There is another one down here for XFCE. There it is there, Cairo Doc XFCE integration plugin. However, I found that didn't um, didn't solve the problems on XFCE, but we'll talk about that again when we get back to XFCE. So now we've got the, the GNOME extensions plugin uh, running there on the dock. So we'll start the dock again, Cairo Doc. Once again, we didn't get asked the question because we've put the uh, dash O in there. We'll have a look at the stack. There's my document, looks a little bit healthier. I click on it and it opens the document up. We have a look at our shortcuts. There they are. I can open my music folder by clicking there. That's all working. File browser works, it's all good. At this point, we could just configure that up how we want it, make it look all pretty. But what I'm going to do is show you the next issue I've ha had on uh, the Matei desktop. So we'll right click the shortcut here and we'll go launch when I log in. And if we go to the startup applications, there it is there, we'll have a look at it. It's got the flag, the dash O in it. So we can cancel out of there. We'll log out and log back in. And I'll show you what happens on the Matei desktop. It'll all look pretty normal to begin with. And indeed, these work. Very nice. The stack works. However, this shortcut here is now going to have a problem. Sometimes the dock blinks out and disappears for a moment. You can see that icon bouncing. There's actually a second dock opened up in the background. So I'm going to close this one at the front, quit. And there we can see the other dock in the background. And for whatever reason, on the Matei desktop in Linux Mint 20, it does not like being auto started. So I'm going to remove this because I've been playing around with this over the last few weeks and it just doesn't like that at all. The best option I've come up with is to just start it manually and to make it a bit easier I'm just going to right click the icon in the menu and go add to panel and at least now I've got a bit of a shortcut there. We'll log out and back in again. We'll start it manually because it's not going to auto run now. And we know the stack should be okay. The shortcuts are all there. And this should work fine now as well. So that's the couple of issues I've come across there. You need to install the CairoDoc GNOME integration plugin, which was the second part of the software install that we did. And that's regardless of whether you're using Mate as I am here. XFCE or Cinnamon, I've found the same across all three desktops. We'll have a quick look at XFCE and Cinnamon. 
Here we are on Linux Mint 20 with the Cinnamon desktop. We'll go into the Software Manager. And once again, we'll click this icon here, the Meta Package. And we'll install it. We'll move the panel to the top. It's installed, so we'll launch it from the button here. Once again, we're getting asked this question, and we're going to say yes. Uh, we'll add the flags to the the startup shortcut in the menu in a moment. So there's our basic dock. I'm just going to add those couple of other features again, or the stack, to illustrate the point. There's the stack. I've got a file in here, so we'll drag this into the stack. And in Linux Mint Cinnamon, in Linux Mint Cinnamon, we can't drag from the menu. So if you want a shortcut for your file browser there, you can go into uh, File System, USR, Share, Applications. And then if we scroll down, we can type Files. And I think it's this one here, 8.1 kilobytes, I think is the right one. Yep, so we'll just drag that down into the dock as well. And that should work to start files, which it does. You can see the stack's not displaying the document again, and our shortcuts aren't opening. So we'll go back on here. And once again, you can see it's added a lot of stuff already, but it hasn't added that the one for the GNOME or GNOME integration plugin so we'll add that we'll quit the dock while well, that's adding okay it's all added if we look in the menu there's the shortcut for Cairo dock there's no option there to uh, auto launch so what we'll do is we'll just go into startup again strt Startup applications, and down here we can hit the little plus, choose application, and we scroll down this Cairo doc. We'll add the application, and now this won't have the flag on it because we didn't create it from somewhere that had it. So we'll go space dash O and we'll save that. We can see there's a launch Cairo dock on startup option when you right click on the dock, but uh, that didn't seem to work. There's no option to right click on the icon to uh, edit the icon there in Cinnamon. So we'll right click the menu, we'll go to configure, click on menu at the top, and then we'll open the menu editor. And I believe it's in administration so there's Cairo doc go to its properties and in here we go space dash O and we'll save that we'll close we'll close out of there we'll give it a try from here we'll see what happens now Cairo doc it's asked the question there uh, maybe we need to log out and log back in. So we'll log out. Okay, so Cairo Docs run at startup. And the stack showing our document with the second piece of software. The document's opened, that's all good. Files is working. You can open and close our files from there and our shortcuts are hopefully there as well. And we'll just try, we'll right click and we'll quit. And we'll just try the icon in the menu and see if that's stuck. Try the menu again and see if that, yeah, so logging out and logging back in has um, activated that flag that we put into the menu shortcut as well.
uh, which hopefully you won't need now because it, it all works pretty good in cinnamon. So we'll go across and have a look at um, XFCE and go through the same procedure there. On the XFCE desktop, we will go to the software manager, install the meta package again. We'll move the panel to the top. And the main Cairo doc meta package is installed, so we'll launch it. We'll say yes once again. There it is, we'll add those couple of items to it. Add the stack, and I've got a document in here, so we'll add this document to the stack. We'll also add Thuna. It is there, the file manager Thuna. We'll drag that down here as well. And let's see what we get. So once again, the shortcuts aren't working. And the stack isn't. I'm pretty sure the file manager will work okay on XFCE, which it does. So we'll go back here. And once again, we'll scroll down. You could also type up here, dash doc. Dash GN should bring it up for GN for GNOME so that you're completing the syntax that's written in there. So we'll install that one as well. we'll hit install. We'll quit the dock while it's doing that. And we're all done. We'll find it in the menu. Right click it and we'll go edit application and in here command Cairo doc space dash O. Save that. We'll give it a run, we'll see what it does. And we didn't even have to log out here on XFCE, that started without asking us the question there. So let's have a look now. Our File looks okay there and it opens. Our file manager works fine and our shortcuts are hopefully there as well. There they are. We'll add it to startup. Startup in session. Application auto start. We'll hit the add button. And we'll call it Cairo. And down here in the command it is Cairo dash doc space dash o again hit ok for that we'll close out of there we'll log out and log back in and see what sort of result we've got and it's auto started file looks good there Thuna is working all our shortcuts are popping up we're good to go So as I mentioned, XFCE and Cinema are a little bit more straightforward, or at least they uh, they can be set to auto start, whereas the Matei desktop can't be at this stage for whatever reason. And as I mentioned earlier on, I've got a, a little bit more complete uh, bit of a guide video if you want to configure your dock up a little bit more. So I'll drop a link for the other video in the description. It's about a year old at this stage. I think it was October 2019. The other video was made. Uh, but most of it should still be relevant to the dock. I think the, the version of the dock is still about the same. Where are we? About, I think it's 341. Uh, there it is there, dot, version 341. So most of that uh, other video, even though it's nearly a year old, should be still still pretty relevant to the dock. So if you want to find out how to configure the dock up a little bit more, you can go and watch that one.